so it is called ecliptic plane now when the north pole points towards the sun we have we have uh, summer in the northern uh, hemisphere and uh, winter in the southern hemisphere and uh, then the earth goes into the position where both the uh, both the north pole and the south pole are equally illuminated by the sun and so we have summer then we have autumn and then here are uh, here we have winter when the uh, north pole points away from the sun and the northern hemi hemisphere 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 is uh, hemisphere is winter like uh, present and the southern hemisphere is uh, points hemisphere points towards the sun and that it comes here again we have spring we are both are equally illuminated and it is it is come back and over here so these four positions which are particularly important so this is the winter this is the spring this is the summer and this autumn now we we are in uh, we are interested in what this appears from the earth sitting on the earth what does it appears like okay so that is what is of interested interest to us now when we sit on the earth look at the sky and it is convenient to define something called the celestial sphere okay so this is a sphere of the infinite radius and uh, all the objects that we see on the sky we think of as being on this sphere called the celestial sphere okay and the rotation axis of the earth we ex extrapolate that so this is the rotation axis of the earth and we extrapolate that the place where it is it inter intersects uh, the celestial sphere this is the north celestial pole and this is the south celestial pole okay just like the north pole of the earth and the south pole of the earth we also have the north celestial pole and the south celestial pole and if you take the equator of the earth which is the plane uh, pre uh, perpendicular to the rotation axis and the extent that it will intersect the celestial sphere at the equatorial place so uh, that is a celestial equa equator so the blue curve over here is the celestial equator is it is equator of the earth celestially perpendicular to the position axis if you extend that is infinity the place where it intersects the celestial sphere and that is the equator equatorial and the celestial equator okay so we have the celestial equator and we have the north celestial pole and the south celestial pole and the whole sky rotates around this but we are not interested in the in that uh, the position of the stars remain fixed on the celestial pole in the celestial sphere so we are uh, we are not uh, so we are not interested in the rotation of the sky so the position of the stars this is the sphere that is fixed to the stars the stars maintain fixed relative position to this sphere the celestial sphere is fixed to that to that now uh, now when i look at the sun sitting over here sitting on the earth the what will the position of the sun look like uh, uh, to understand that uh, let us let us go back to the previous picture during summer the sun is going to appear to the north so the so this correspondence so this correspondence to uh, summer during the summer the sun you can see here this is the summer the equator to perpendicular to the rotation to the rotation axis so the equator actually points downwards now and the sun appears to the uh, north it is fixed okay in this picture the sun during summer the um, the uh, sun during the summer farthest uh, position from the equator is the peak of the summer okay the peak of the summer of the uh, 
of is the furthest uh, position from the equator it is called the summer solstice so sol mm, summer solstice okay so uh, that is the uh, that is the summer solstice and uh, then after summer we have autumn is autumn the sun is uh, sun is exactly perpendicular to the rotation axis so it is it is the uh, rotation rotational uh, so it is the uh, rotational equatorial plane so so the sun has moved down towards the equator and at atom autumn exactly in the uh, middle of the autumn it exactly intersects the equatorial plane and then in winter sun has moved to the southern hemisphere on the sky and okay so now the south pole points towards the sun and the equator points upwards to uh, so the sun is now the southern hemisphere so the sun has moved to the south and this is the extreme